Hi everyone, this is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and I am going to do a collage with me, and I have Adeline pulled out. She's going through a little wear and tear, but uh, this is the one where I use the postcards and um, create a collage from it. I have pulled some pieces. I also have Stevie over here, depending on how long this takes to do one in her. I didn't pull anything out for that. So that will just be like as is. I did mention in one of my prior videos that I want to um, kind of start being more intentional with these journals. Um, I used to do the, I started by doing collage just as like something for myself. And then I turned into creating the junk journals and that whole side of this. So for me, I'm just turning on another light. I think I need another light. Um, for me, I started to produce so many different journals and collages. Uh, I was kind of overwhelming myself and just doing videos because of like the weekly collage video that I committed to doing. But I'm gonna pull back on some of the um, journals, make a smaller pull and um, really do like more of how I originally started. So that's why I have all these pieces pulled. I just was thinking this is um, an ephemera book that my friend made. I've made some myself. Um, I just wanna pull, this, this is full of my die cuts. So I wanted to see from these what actually would go. And these aren't die cuts that I've cut. These are die cuts from like Amazon or um, AliExpress, that kind of thing. I just want to see these peachy colored ones. That one might be okay. And these burgundy. I do have one butterfly, but that colored one might be okay too. Um, just seeing if anything else sticks out. This is actually a die cut that I do have. And this is a die cut that I do have. Um, all these other pieces are just ones that I um, have gotten in kits. I have another one here that's more like doily, so I just wanna check this one, it's bigger. Oh my goodness, I just about dropped something glass on the floor. I actually think I like that one with the colors. Oh. I should have used a large pocket for these doilies. I didn't. I thought I could get away with using the shorter ones. And if you're not holding it like upright, they definitely fall out. This is more like an eight and a half by 11 size one. And the other one's a little bit smaller. another piece of I don't know that I'll use all these but I'm just gonna pull them oh I do like that doily piece there okay well we'll see what happens with this yeah this was not the smartest to use those things and now I did it so I kind of have to keep it that way They should have been, because they're bigger pieces, they get top heavy in this little pocket and dumps. So we're just gonna put that back. And then, like I said, I have a ton of pieces here to go with this. Oops. I used to do more elaborate spreads and then got away with it, um, but 
I would like to get back to that. So here we are with pieces under here is the actual postcard that I picked. Why is that light doing that? Uh, um, yeah, there's the ring light right there. I'm trying to see. I would like the light, but not the glare. see all these shadows. I'm not sure what it's doing. It's not even dark yet. All right. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Okay. We'll just go with that. Okay. So I am going to, all right, I need to move this again. I think this is the only one doing it because it's got that sheen to the top. So these are my pieces. I'm going to just kind of start putting this together. I should pull out my tape runner though, because I am gonna use that. Usually whenever I do pieces like this, I've always used the tape runner. And more of the junk journaling, I use um, the like our glitter glue, different things like that. So I first want to think how I want to use her. Just grabbing my Tim Holtz scissors from over here. These really big ones. I don't know. Like she's kind of like looking in a mirror back at herself, but I almost more like want the oval maybe it's okay it's not hurting her. <laughs> and then I can kind of like use this as my guiding point So she is a little off, but again, just something like this piece I pulled just adds more to that right there. So I'm going to just start putting some pieces together and um, I don't know if I want to tear, I want to cut, just looking at my decorative scissors. Let's go with some tearing. This one. I don't know where to put this light that it's not doing that. It's not even dark. I'm not sure why it's got shadows like that. Oh, have you ever watched a person on YouTube have so many problems as I do? I, I don't. And it's me. I'm trying to see the way this is. Okay, that's okay being like that. I wanted to make sure the flowers are kind of in the right direction. Um, some of, this is a sticky piece of paper, so this is would have more um, I think I want to use it more like a washi tape type of element. I really like the layering and these all little pieces are like top layer. Let's set those off to the side. For now, these, these are all my top pieces. And then I have these extras here and then this, okay. So then, I 
I kind of want those words back there showing. You just kind of have to work with it until you get it how you would like it. and see what comes of this. You know, I'm gonna have to then stick all these down and remember exactly where I have strategically placed them. like to feel like its weight is in the right places if that makes any sense all right so I feel like that's a good oh goodness girlfriend I'm gonna pull her off because she's totally glaring. Pick these little pieces off. I have a good idea. Now what I'm doing, layer, 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 layer. All right, so kind of here is my base. So I'm just gonna do one piece at a time. This tape runner is from the Dollar General. I, although I obsess with glue sticks and buy, I need to stand up and see if that's straight. No, um, a lot of glue sticks. I do not buy a lot of tape runners. I don't think it's necessary. They are $1 at the Dollar General and those are the ones I purchased. I just think that for things like this, there's so many layers on it, and it's just fine. So then, I feel like that's there. It's okay if it shifts a little bit too. I'm not too concerned about that. down here. I resorted to standing up because I can just, this is a bigger book and I just need to be able to see a little bit better for ensuring it's lined up. Okay. This is here. corner piece down. My watch is telling me to stand. I am standing. I'm just not moving. Okay. Then I think we were here. This is where I forget. I start to forget some of the pieces. Oh, 
that was there. I feel like this was here. I love being able to do these layers and textures and different things like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna move that a little bit more to the left. No, <laughs> that's the right. That goes there. Something needs to go underneath there. What was that? What was that? You know, that was there. No, that was up there. I feel like this was up there. I'm thinking that. I want this under and over like that. It's more about the positioning. And then I'm going to bring this one in a little. And then I'm going to sit down since I have those all done. I think I had this down here. I don't know that it was behind it, but I'm going to do it now like that. Because I want the black to kind of be This is gonna work. Oh, it's okay. That will probably end up being covered. I don't need to stress about that. Okay. Was this here? And this was across there? I don't remember. I do believe this was up here though. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. of it she I'm gonna try and do her last because of the glare well oh yeah it sure is um, I thought maybe it was gone away for a second but no it is still there mm, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down it's so stark, but I think it will be okay till I put other pieces. Put that there. Because this is vellum, I don't wanna go too crazy on the glue with that. Okay. Um. Fly. We have this word that I think kind of fits her. Um, do I like that tucked underneath there? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I almost feel like this moon needs to be up here. that circle I use the back of this to glue this 
Oh, and rip it? Of course, yes. That's heavy-handed Sheena. All right. Well, per usual. Where do we believe that went? I think it had to have been like this. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I think it will be for the most part disguised. Okay, so then I have this little piece that needs to go somewhere. And this is where the layers just get pulled in. Little pieces. Oh, I had this mushroom somewhere. Well, see it there. I think it's going to have to be there. Maybe this one can go on here, actually. Can a butterfly be beside the moon? Of course it can. Um... Is that all my pieces? It is. No, oh my goodness, this thing. Let's get this little one off of there. I'll put this there. massive, huh? Decisions, decisions. Let me... I'm testing my luck. Not too bad. This should have been a bigger piece. That was probably what I was missing earlier. can go on there. I am going to put that there. This needs to be like torn down or inked or something. I think I changed my mind again. Put it over here. mushroom flower. Hmm. This needs to be more this way. this down because I'm pretty stuck on that being right in that spot. Mm. I 
still might put that mushroom up there. All right, question for this. Let's see if I... Add a little texture to this and ink it. I just want to go a little closer. Play nice. That that then fits in this section better. Yeah. Okay, this needs to go down, this, um, flower here. It's already sticking, but it's not stuck down. You can do it. Okay. There's that. This. Now we are coming together. Guess I didn't do a good job on that, on any of those corners. Okay. This needs more blue. I put it down and picked it up enough times. It just needs a little reinforcement. That there. I am going to ink this only because it's going white on pretty close to white and scallops, so that should just make it contrast a little more. Come on. go this it's just a little sticker that I'm gonna put down here it's not staying very well there and I can pick it up this butterfly don't rip trying to be very gentle and I might be slightly off camera but I'm trying to glue this on a piece of there we go what is not down this is not down this mushroom and I am going to stick it underneath there oh wow Healing up. You may want to come in and say, are you sure you're sure about your Dollar General glue? Yes, I'm sure. It's fine. What is that? I'm trying to think of positioning for this. now sticking up. Those pieces like that are harder to get the full um, thing glued down, the full die cut. Come on. 29 minutes. 
but I'm doing something that I like and putting a lot of time into it, so I'm good with that. How is that just on there? That moon cannot be under that like that. So it's going to come up. And that's going to move slight, slightly and be over. Okay. Well, now we're back to this. I'm wondering if I want it more. I feel like it needs to be down. So she goes in there. Like that. And I'm actually okay with her overlapping, this overlapping her a little bit. So I'm just gonna let that the way it is, glue this down, and I think we have it put together. This will be like there. And then she, Oh my goodness, is that the end of it? Sure is. Oh yeah, I'm just putting these pieces in the trash while I grab the next one. I get like, uh, what in the world? Okay, use it the right way. Um, that one's much easier to run whenever it's a new one compared to what I was doing. Uh, I just buy all the ones off. That's what I started to say. I just buy all the ones off the rack. like it needs like some lace or something. All right, she was not straight. Now she's better. Um, just want to make sure you can see her without a glare. Everything's good. Yeah, if you look at this one as opposed to this one, it's completely different, I feel. This one, I don't know, something happened there. I lost the middle of that. I'm not even sure what it was. These have more texture to them, but yeah, from the last one I did in here to this one is a big difference, but I love this and could I put more on there probably but I do want to keep it one dimensional this book cannot handle there's that big flower that I just showed you and this book cannot handle that very well so there's the piece trying to get the glare off for you and that's I think it for today. I'm not going to do one in Stevie because this was already 35 minutes-ish. Um, and I really, I really like this one and how it turned out. The layers, the texture, and a lot of collage. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna, like I said, 
go back to like what I originally was doing and do like one really intentional spread. And I've reduced my books down to Adeline, Stevie, Zura that I did last Sunday, Scarlet, which is a little tiny one, and um, Grace. This is Grace. Scarlet, and then Atlas, and then the Index Micamac. So these three will go together. These two will go together. Uh, and then, uh, I say that because they're smaller, but yeah, I just wanna do spreads that I'm more intentional about and that I really like. Reduce, oh, this came off out of line. Reduce the number of journals that I'm working in at one given time so I can really make spreads that I enjoy. These books go through a lot of on the shelf, off the shelf, things coming on and off the shelf. Yeah, this flower down here lost its. Um, pearl, but yeah. This is kind of what happens though whenever you do like a lot of journaling. They get their wear and tear. They're not gonna, well, I guess for me, I would say they're not gonna remain um, precisely the way they were at the beginning because they're supposed to have that, um, that kind of love to them. So yeah, I know this, these two are, appear to get the most watched videos that I'm, I think that's so funny, but there is, uh, community for seeing these Tim Holtz style pieces. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to stop with just doing that one. So this video makes it up. And again, I just want to do things that are intentional. And oh, I just found a piece. This was supposed to go on there somewhere. Well, not today. I think I had plenty. Oh, and this. I said about putting like tearing off pieces and putting that on too. Well, again, there was plenty there. So have a good evening and I will see you back on Wednesday for Marguerite Miller. Bye.